The Hoekse Berg Pass, which translates as Corners Mountain, is a short but steep pass on a minor gravel road which takes vehicles down to the Bido Valley in the central Cedarburg area, a well-known site for wildflowers in spring. On some maps, including the official government maps, this pass is also listed as the Eightcake Pass. There's another Eightcake Pass near the Algeria Forestry Station in the southern Cedarburg, and so plenty of confusion has been caused. As a consequence, this pass's name was changed to Huxabar Pass. The road, designated as the P2262, continues for a further 25 kilometers and terminates at the tiny Moravian settlement of Wuppertal. The pass has been partially tarred and concreted over the steepest sections where the gradient gets as steep as 1 in 5. It's quite a sharp drop in altitude of 334 meters, but the reward is magnificent, with vistas over the Cedarberg with its crisp clear blue skies and exquisite rock formations. At the foot of the pass lies the Bido Valley, which will be packed with flower lovers during the late winter and spring season. For the remainder of the year, the pass will be quiet with perhaps a local farmer passing by in his bucky. The first of two semi-happen bends occurs at the one kilometer point and is marked by a cattle grid at its apex. Most of these cattle grids can only accommodate one vehicle at a time, so be aware that descending vehicles should give way. Once through this bend, the road straightens out into the west and soon arrives at the next hairpin bend at the 1.4 km mark. This very sharp left-hand bend has been concreted to improve traction and the gradients here are at 1 in 5. This bend turns through 160 degrees and should be taken at about 30 km per hour to be safe. Immediately after the bend, the concrete changes to tar and the road straightens out into the south-southeast. This fairly straightforward section lasts for about 1 km and the gradients vary between 1 in 5 and 1 in 9. There are two wonderful guest farms in the Bido Valley, both offering self-catering accommodation. At the 2.3 km mark, the tar gives way to gravel once more. Speed should be reduced here in preparation for the horseshoe bend which is coming up. The turning angle of this horseshoe bend is almost 200 degrees, but the radius is not too sharp. Once you've cleared the horseshoe, the heading reverts back into the west and it's followed by a wide left-hand bend which takes one towards the end of the pass. From this vantage point, during springtime, you'll have a perfect view of the wildflowers nestled in the valley below the mountain dead ahead. The Bido Valley is one of the most popular areas in the Cedarberg for flower spotting. Beyond the pass, the road carries on for a further 25 kilometers, and one then has to descend the Coburg Pass before entering the tiny settlement of Wuppertal, perhaps best known for its original leather shoe industry. Other places worth visiting in Wuppertal is the lovely old Thatch Post Office, and of course center stage goes to the original Moravian church, which is always open to visitors. The pass ends at the crossing of a small stream at an altitude of 364 meters. 